Now I panic over everything. I'm so excited. I know. I know. I'm excited. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm in my car. It says it's 89 degrees. I don't think so. I think it's a little cooler than that. But there is humidity. But we went from 100 and... I think it was the high was 109 just a, a day or so ago. Where the air conditioning in the home wouldn't even turn off to now. Uh, you don't even hear it go on. It's so nice. I thrive in this. Anyway, um, I just wanted to come on here and just let you guys know that it's, it's it's really, really nice. So far, so good. Hubby's birthday. I don't know if I mentioned it's my husband's birthday today. My daughter's making him a cake and all that. So it's a little bit gonna be a little bit challenging today, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see. We'll see. Um, you know, I didn't prepare for, you know, getting him something low carb or something like that but uh, all right guys my son's here I'll be back it's my husband's birthday and this is what he got from Aaron our oldest it is 5 13 I'm really hungry no one's home Oh. I told you it's my husband's birthday. He wanted sushi. So I don't eat sushi. I said, go enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Sunday we do have plans to go do something as a family. Um, and then Ada went to work. And then Aaron, my oldest, uh, he's gone. I don't know where he went. Um, I mean, he said goodbye, but I don't. I, I don't know where he went. It's his day off, so I'm sure he went to go enjoy himself, too. Um, oh, it's kind of cloudy. Hold on. Yeah, there. It's much better. Okay. Here's my dilemma for dinner. It's 514. They had left around 330. They left around there, approximately. My hubby was supposed to take out my steak. It's, he forgot. <laughs> it's still frozen. going to see if I can thaw it out. Because, um, yeah, I don't want to, I can have eggs, I'm home and if something happens, but I don't really want eggs. Um, the chicken, I have chicken left over. I don't want to chicken. I don't know guys, this morning when I had it, I was like, Bleh. what's going on? What's going on with the taste buds? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on, but I didn't like it. I mean, it just tasted like I wanted to. <laughs> uh, and, and the chicken's not bad. It, it's not. It's just, I don't know. Like, I think I said I was going to try to do it a different way, and that's what I'm going to do. I can't believe the weather, guys. Look, it, I don't know. It's very, very um, windy. Yes, it's nice though. It's very nice. All right, let me go see if I can thaw this out. Um, that's what I'm gonna have. That's it for right now. My daughter did make my husband a cake and I'm wondering, I don't know. I don't really want to, but my daughter went out of her way. So definitely not gonna make her feel bad. So I'm gonna have a little bit. <laughs> okay, I'll be back. Whoa, I'll be back. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. I just came up the stairs. About what I've been feeling as of lately. Um, just really frustrated with how I've been going in terms of my weight loss. Um, well, actually my visceral fat and I'm going to show you my belly and I'm going to show you what I'm feeling or talk to you about what I'm feeling. It's just, it's been very, very frustrating for me and I will admit it's starting to get to me. 
even though I know that everything that I'm doing right now, any other time of my life, I would have definitely dropped considerable amount of weight. Uh, my food is so good, you know, it's, it's, yes, you see me eat out a little bit and I'm going to have a little bit of cake today, but it's nothing compared to what I used to eat before, like before, before, like before, you know, when I'm not on a, any specific diet or anything like that, I definitely uh, eat far worse. <laughs> Watch the time. This is pretty hard for me. Um, this is my belly. I mean, these shorts are a 16, but this, oops, sorry. This really just bothers me. This, this right here, yes, of course it bothers me, but this visceral fat right here just really, really, really bothers me. Yeah. This is hard for me to do. Uh, yeah. That's hard. That's hard for me to do. Um, I just feel like the stress, if I don't get it under control, I'm really not gonna be able to lose a considerable amount of weight. Um, I do need to move more. I mean, the, I can't be sedentary all the time and expect something, you know? I mean, I do have to move. I'm just feeling some kind of way today. I'm just feeling um, very frustrated with my, my adventure that I'm on. I really believe that it is due to cortisol and managing my stress is gonna be very seasonings was from Dave's let me get it it was famous Dave's and it doesn't have the best ingredients but I use that <laughs> let me tell you what happened to me this morning I don't know if I said that I had three packages that I sold three items and they were off right now my husband says hey I think you sold an item and I said yeah I did I did I well, you know I was gonna go get it ready and he goes oh you sold two I said, I did? My husband says, pair of shorts or something like that. And I was like, no, I didn't get any th anything through my phone. He goes, yeah, look. Well, it was the skirt, the Old Navy skirt that I had sold that went off. I sold one item from Posh. I sold the top on eBay. I sold the Old Navy skirt on eBay. So I said, no, 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 that skirt went off, I went out. I'm telling you this guys because I feel like I need to let it out when I generated the label for the top which is what I did first okay then you're done okay and it tells you on the side do you want to ship your next item that's what I clicked 
that should send me to the skirt. When I got to that screen, the skirt was on the, the little window. So weighed it, slapped the label, off it went. So now I'm in a panic. I'm over here, stress people. I don't deal with this very, very well. I'm being real guys. I told my husband, what do I do? We called eBay and we told eBay, okay, I shipped out the, the blouse first. I hit ship next item. The skirt showed. So I didn't verify addresses. I didn't do any of that. I, I, I never do. And why it applied the second item to the previous lady with a blouse, I, I don't know. And she says, this is not the first time this has happened. This, this has happened before. It's a glitch. So I'm thinking, <laughs> okay, she told us how to fix it. Basically because it just sent out today, it's sitting here in our, in, in the local um, distribution. It, it's gonna come back to me. I had to pay $15 for it to come back to me. And now my customer who's waiting for it, I have to contact her and tell her I need to wait till it comes back and send it back. I'm gonna offer her a refund. If that's, she doesn't wanna wait, she doesn't have to. If she does wanna wait, I don't know how to, and I'm gonna have to find out with eBay, how do I, because it's sitting as I never shipped this. So it's gonna ding me day by day. So right now I'm just a little stressed out and this is things that cause me stress. I feel kind of funny because, okay, thank God, this is all gonna get resolved. At the end of the day, at the end of all of this, my customers are what matter to me. If I'm gonna, if the lady with the skirt is upset, I don't blame her, I don't. I'll, I'll definitely give her her money back. That, that's not a, that's a given. And I, I'm gonna be out $15 now which is going to take the profit from that skirt. Let me go see what's going on with my husband and I will come back and let you know if that ended up happening. What did, did we able to derail, uh, intercept the package? Yeah, I, I, it's coming back to my house. So I don't think it will take too, too long. Uh, I would, I would assume by m Monday, latest Tuesday I would think I talked to eBay myself guy was very nice you know very very nice very understanding he made a note in the file of the, the account with the with the skirt and noted what happened and I will be getting a ding for late handling now the skirt is sitting I only have one day handling charge before I start getting dinged every day and my percentage is gonna dump. That is showing like I never even shipped it out. I don't think that's fair. Um, and the only option I have, he said, is because there's a note to call back when I get the item and I ship it back out, then call them back and see if they'll remove it. He even saw, because he tried to make a label and he saw what it says. When you're trying to make two labels for one item, it tells you at the top that you're making another label for the same item, like a warning. The other thing, because I hit go to next item, it does no longer will take into account anything that you've already put the label on. It goes to the items that the next item in line as how they person paid the next item in line that you need to make the label for. And the skirt was there, there was no warning, and for some reason, the glitch was, it took the address of the previous buyer. But that's the bottom line. It'd be nice, in my opinion, I guess in a perfect world, that they would say, wait a minute, you're right, yeah, and you should have never went back that address for that lady with the blouse should have been done, gone, done. Why it popped up and then 
help me out a little bit, you know? I even told him, I go, I, cause I ended up talking to the guy. I said, I'm, I'm out $15, but okay. At the end of the, at the end of all that. Okay. But me being deemed, it, it matters when you're a seller. It matters because the percentages of you add up. And if you get to a certain percentage, you can't qualify for certain things. I know I've rambled on about this for a long time, but I just want to let it out. <laughs> and this is what's happening to me right now at this moment on my hubby's birthday. I will be following up with eBay once I get the package, hopefully by Monday or Tuesday and send it out to the lady. I did offer her the refund. If she wants a refund, she, she's, she, you know, um, I've learned a lesson. <laughs> I mean, things glitch. I get it. it, it nothing is a perfect system. I, I understand that completely. And it, bound to happen, I suppose, you know, not take such a hard hit, you know, for something that I think glitched out on their part. So thank you for listening to me. Thank you to my hubby for being an amazing, amazing. <laughs> it's raining outside. That's nice. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I thought I heard the rain. Let's go see. Oh, it's muggy as all heck. Do you hear? Oh, you see it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I get excited, guys. To have some rain right now is what we need, especially we have a big, 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 big fire over in the Hemet area in Southern California. And they need this rain bad to help with the fires. I believe Big Bear has a fire as well. So this is just going to be a blessing for sure. Are the gardeners come? The gardeners came today. Yeah, they came. Yeah, to be continue. I'll let you know what the buyer said. I'm pretty sure she's, whatever she decides, it'll be fine. Okay, he's, my husband's on the intercom. There's an intercom out here that goes to the house. <laughs> and he's talking to them and the kids are in the room. I'm sure they're gonna start yelling, dad. <laughs> okay, probably have some cake and ice cream. But I'm 8.45. And I'm sorry guys, the fan's on and I know you're going to hear the noise, but I just wanted to come on here really, really quickly to decompress <laughs> from tonight's events. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do these nails. I got this in my last month's Allure Beauty Box. I do get a subscription. I'll put a link here if you want to uh, check it out, a couple videos. Uh, but yeah, I do uh, got these in my Allure Beauty Box. And uh, let's see there you go that's a better color it's like an ombre so I'm gonna do these and then I'll come back and I'll show you how they look I thought I would uh, let you see uh, doing my nails is a decompressor for me I, I like doing them I used to change out my nail polish color like every other day <laughs> but with the stickers I tend to keep them on for like two weeks so it's nice so I'm just gonna do some decompressing for a little bit <laughs> and uh, watch some videos or something okay I'll be back and I'll show you there they are now the you know the white part it's it's supposed to be ombre so there's the white part I thought the white part was the, like goes on the tip but there's no way because <laughs> the rounder thinner part the round thinner part is supposed to be in the by the by the what do you call that quick and then this more straighter part is for the um, wider part of your nail. So, but I, yeah, they're cute, huh? It's, it's gel. It's like a, it's a gel tip or gel stickers. Cause it's really, you, you could tell they're different than like other stickers that I've used. That's, I just want